progress and we are ready to go. Okay. Calling us to order the South River Mayor and Borough Council meeting number two held today on January 10th, 2022. Statement of notice of publication, Madam Clerk. In compliance with chapter 231 of public law of 1975, notice of this meeting to be held at the Criminal Justice Building, 61 Main Street, South River has been published in, well, actually, and via video has been published in the Home News Tribune on January 6, 2022, posted on the Municipal Building Bulletin Board, the Borough website, the front door of the Criminal Justice Building, and pursuant to the provisions of the New Jersey Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA 10 colon 4 dash 8B. This I don't know what I'm under. By I've of changed it so many times for the girls. I don't know if it's under Sophia Cucano, uh -huh. Constantina, Maria. Everyone, please mute yourself. There's a meeting going on. Pursuant to the provisions of the New Jersey Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA 10 colon 4 dash 8B, this meeting is being held by means of use of electronic communications equipment. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, no members of the public shall be permitted to physically attend the meeting originally scheduled to be held at the Criminal Justice B Building at 61 Main Street, South River. The public, however, is invited to attend the meeting electronically and the public will have the opportunity to speak. And of course, the borough is using this format in an effort to mitigate the chance of exposure to COVID-19 as um, this is what is the members of the council desired. And so we are here. Roll call, Madam Clerk. Mayor Krenzel. Here. Councilwoman Ballas. Here. Councilman Gindy. Here. Councilman Gurchinski. Here. Councilwoman Mira. Madam Clerk, she just typed in the chat bar that she was having trouble hearing. She may have hopped off to hop back on. Um, okay. I, I, I don't see her right now, but she did put in the chat bar, sorry, having trouble hearing. Okay, thank you. Councilman Oliveira? Here. And Council President Ciola? Here. Thank you. Thank you. Let us have a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag, flag of, of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Let us have a moment of silence. In your thoughts and prayers, please remember Beth Farmheim, who has worked on the community garden, Frank Mula an Emmy award-winning uh, writer from South River, and Brian Sicknick, who just had the anniversary of his passing one year ago. Thank you. There are no proclamations, honor, awards, or presentations. There's no agenda sessions. There is an ordinance, second reading public hearing, but I believe that Mr. Ziola has a motion concerning that due to insufficient time for publication. Yes, Mayor, um, due to insufficient time for publication, ordinance 2022-1 for second reading and public hearing should be carried over to the January 24th meeting at seven o'clock. Uh, shortly thereafter at the Criminal Justice Building on 61 Main Street, South River, or remotely via Zoom. I'll second that. Motion by Mr. Ciula, seconded by Mr. Gindy. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Hence the ayes have it. We'll revisit this on January the 24th. We do have an ordinance, first reading by title only, 2022-02, Madam Clerk. An ordinance of the Borough of South River County of Middlesex, State of New Jersey, amending the Borough Code of the Borough of South River, so as to amend Chapter 155 entitled Fees Regarding Athletic Lighting Fees. May I have a motion to introduce, to accept as introduced? Motion. I move that we council pass Ordinance 2022-02 on its first reading by title only, and that the clerk be authorized to publish the same as required by law with a second reading to be held on 
January the 24th at 7 p.m. or thereafter by video conference via Zoom or in the Criminal Justice Building located at 61 Main Street, South River, New Jersey. Second. Second. Motion has been made by Mr. Siula. We'll give the second to Mr. Gindi who uh, had done that. Roll call. Councilwoman Ballas? Yes. Councilman Gindi? Yes. Councilman Gerchinski? Yes. Councilwoman Mira? I'm here. I'm sorry. I missed the first. Uh, oh, there you are. Couldn't hear you guys before, so I went on my phone instead. You're how do you vote for introducing ordinance 2202? Yes, I just didn't hear you. you introduce it. That's why I didn't know if I could. Uh, okay, no problem. Thank you. Councilman Oliveira? Yes. And Council President Ciola? Yes. Thank you. Very good then. We'll revisit this on the January the 24th. We'll have a public hearing at that time. Moving on to the agenda with the reports, Mr. Koch, how are you this evening? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Doing better, thank you. Hope everybody's well. Not a lot of change in our report. The 2020-2021 roads, they're on hold until the warm weather breaks in the spring. Uh, not, no change in the 2022 local aid program. You receive the grant. When you're ready, you can start putting financing in place for that. The substation work is moving along. The, really what's left is the feeder line, the sweeps, and well number two replacement. Um, electrician is still doing their work, but we did submit the DEP water allocation minor modification permit in. So we'd just be waiting to hear from the DEP regarding that. Jim, what questions for the uh, borrowing <laughs> She wanted hey, to watch the thing. Well, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. You ready? Yes, Councilman. Councilman. Uh, 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 I think that the JDEP had uh, put out that they have water quality restoration grants. Uh, and also, they're putting out a grant for brownfields. Is that something that we would be able to apply for? What was the first one, Councilwoman? Water quality restoration grants. I will look at, into that tomorrow for you. I wasn't aware of that, but I'll talk to the head of our water department tomorrow and find out. Okay, and the other one that the D had put in was uh, for brownfields. I don't know that we have any projects that properties that we're going to clean up um, in order for redevelopment, but I can also ask our envir environmental division if there's uh, any insight on that for you as well. I can report on both for the next meeting. Okay, I, I saw that they, the DEP was gonna do like a webinar on one of them. I was gonna try to get onto that. Um, oh, great. If you see that, would you please forward it to me? Yes, I can. Thank you very much. All right. Anyone else? I also have one more thing, Mr. Mayor. Sure. Uh, now that it's getting cold and the water's freezing, I just want you all as council members to drive down Prentice Avenue on the corner of Old Tree. <laughs> The water freezes over there and it is very dangerous. I don't know if um, you guys want pictures. I've had residents send me pictures in the last few years. And I know now that it's pretty cold. Um, I'm sure it's freezing over there too. Um, just to keep in mind, Mayor, the last meeting that you were not at, we discussed maybe adding that onto the roads program. Um, to put out the bid altogether. So I don't know if we're still going ahead with that. Don't want it to be forgotten. Okay. That would be more than just uh, paving. That would be road reconstruction, I would think, uh, Bruce, wouldn't it? It's gonna include drainage, Mayor, which would be a line to pick up all the sump pumps that discharge to the street and pipe it underground. Yes. Yeah, it much like they did on West Grovyak and uh, Franklin. Correct, sir. So, okay. 
Anything else, uh, Councilwoman? No, well, that's it. Okay, anyone else? Okay, thank you, Bruce. Thank Excuse you, everybody. Me. Thank you. I did see Mr. Zenga here somewhere. I'm here. Oh, okay. Mr. Yes, Mayor. The, the only thing I have is uh, just in the process of closing out uh, 2021's records and filing all the reports with the state. That's it. Okay. Anything for uh, Joseph? No. Okay, then. Very good. Uh, Adriano, how are you this evening? Good, Matt. <clears throat> uh, one thing with the recycling, the, they had issues with guys being out. I spoke to them today. There was about 10, roughly about 10 to 12 streets that were left. Um, so Tara told me that, you know, they were down guys from COVID and they're going to let me know, hopefully tomorrow, the next day, if they could come back and recover it. And if they can, we'll put a message out either way to the residents <clears throat> about the recycling. Now, okay. Now it's this right. We're almost, uh, just a week away from it, but okay, fine. Anything for Adriano? No? Okay, then. Very good. Thank you, sir. Uh, our chief is not with us tonight. Uh, there's been a death in uh, his wife's family. Uh, so I will go to Madam Clerk. Um, anything to report from you, Susan? Uh, no report, Mayor. Okay, then. Uh, Andrea, anything to report? I have nothing tonight, Mayor. Okay. Arthur, anything from you? Nothing to report, Mayor. Okay, then. Uh, then going uh, to our governing body. Okay, then. Um, okay. Well, we're all in different places. So how about if we start with you, Mr. Gruchensky? You're the first one up next to my uh, picture. So anything to report uh, from your various uh, committees and such? Nothing at this time, Mayor. Thank you. Okay, then. Uh, Mrs. Ballas? Uh, just to note, the rabies clinic that was scheduled for this month is postponed until March. They're going to be checking with the vet to get available dates. And I would suggest we do what we had to do last time and waive any late fees that people will incur with not getting their licenses uh, registered in time. So I would like to have that taken care of if we can. We can put that on for the next meeting, have a, uh, a resolution to that effect. Very good. Mr. Ciola. Thank you. Um, EDC will be meeting on the 19th. Um, on the 15th, I'll be walking the town with the director of the Metuchen Downtown Alliance, uh, going over some ideas and some uh, suggestions that he would have with the uh, redevelopment of the downtown area. And uh, with the cold that's happening, please keep an eye on your neighbors, especially if they're elderly. Uh, make sure that they're okay, and uh, just watch out for them with this cold weather approaching. Uh, thank you, Mayor. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Gindy? Thank you. Um, our next uh, meetings that are coming up for Municipal Alliance will be tomorrow. The next planning board meeting will be the 18th of this month, and the next zoning board meeting will be the 25th of this month. The planning and the zoning are both going Zoom. Uh, Municipal Alliance are actually meeting uh, in person. Um, most of our meetings, I believe, for the next maybe month or two will be Zoom due to the uh, pandemic uh, spiking back up. So uh, look for the information on our website if you are interested and in, uh, dialing in. That's all I got. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Oliveira? Uh, the Rec Advisory Board, uh, unfortunately, was not able to have their meeting on the 4th of January, uh, the first Tuesday of the month. Uh, Lakeisha is working on trying to have a reorganization meeting as soon as possible during the month of January. As soon as it's uh, coordinated with the staff, uh, the members we will make sure to have it posted so uh, anyone can attend that that would like. Uh, I also want to congratulate the Board of Ed, uh, Renee, Lisa, and Nicole on being reappointed. And uh, Councilwoman Mara is now in charge of the library, but they've uh, officially received word that they, uh, they were awarded the $172,000 grant. Uh, by the governor. So kudos to Evelina and her team for working hard to get that grant. Thank you. And Councilwoman Mara. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, first, I'd like to apologize. I was having some issues with my uh, iPad trying to sign in before, uh, but I had to switch to my phone. The em Environmental Shade Tree Commission will be meeting uh, via Zoom this Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Please watch out for the link as it will be popping up soon. Um, and I'm hoping the library board will contact me, contact me soon to see how they'll be doing their meetings. I know they've also cut down their hours at um, the library. So if you're looking or interested to go to the library, just make sure you check their website because they were having some staff issues. Um, that's all I have for now, Mr. Mayor. Okay, no need to apologize. I mean, with our beloved technology nowadays, we know what happens. I, always it's a great classic of the poor attorney trying to go to a settlement conference with a judge and he can't get you know he looks like a cat and uh he just he couldn't no matter what he did with the computer he couldn't get out of it so it happens not to worry uh, i have no official uh, reports at this time so uh we are going to go on to our agenda to public comments uh you'll have 10 minutes to speak Please give your name and address, and you can do this by one of two ways. You can literally raise your hand, or you can raise your hand uh, using Zoom. Uh, Susan, the clerk, is looking out, and we will wait a moment for that. Okay, on first call, second call, third call. Motion to close. Second. Motion has been made by Mr. Gindy, seconded by Mr. Siula. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against the ayes have it. Going on with the agenda, the mayoral appointments. Uh, there are various appointments to the Environmental Shade Tree Commission, Human Relations Commission, Mayor's Advisory Committee for Person with Disabilities, Mayor's Advisory Council on Aging, Mayor Advisory Committee on Housing and Community Block Grant Programs, as well as the Planning Board. Uh, the three members will be appointed. What you see in your agenda concerning Resolution 30 will be the appointment of Mr. Gindy as the Council Representative. Moving on to our Council Resolution, Madam Clerk, where everyone. Whereas resolution 2201 authorizes the borough council to utilize a consent agenda to adopt various resolutions of a routine and non-controversial nature at one time. Now, therefore, be it, and it is hereby resolved that the below listed that the listed resolutions are hereby adopted by the borough council in whole as if the same were act were individually acted upon. Okay. Resolution 10, except December 27, 2021, regular and executive session council minutes 11, authorize a borough clerk to administer all 2022 legal games of chance licenses. 12, approve uh, New Jersey League of Municipality Conference attendance. 13, cash management plan. 14, signatories on financial documents. 15, interest on delinquent taxes. 16, authorize execution of NJDEP sanitary sewer extension application. 17, appoint borough auditor. 18, appoint public defender. 19, appoint special tax counsel. 20, appoint bond counsel. 21, appoint employment slash labor counsel. 22, appoint electric attorney. 23, appoint electrical engineer. 24, appoint insurance risk manager. 25, appoint health be benefits risk manager. 26, appoint board of health members. 27, appoint cultural arts and heritage commission members. 28, appoint human relations committee members. 29, appoint members to municipal alliance. Um, 30 is under the mayor's appointment. 31, appoint zoning board of adjustment members. 32, appoint Middlesex County Transportation Coordinating Committee representative, which is the mayor designee. 33, appoint watershed management area nine representative. 34, appoint Middlesex County Urban Forestry Advisory Committee representative. 35, appoint Public Power Association of New Jersey representatives. 36, Authorized power purchase and sale agreements. 37, appoint Middlesex County Municipal Joint Insurance Fund representatives. 38, appoint Central Jersey Health Insurance Fund commissioners. 39, appoint public agency compliance officer. 
40 appoint Middlesex County Solid Waste Advisory Committee Representative, 41 appoint Fire Police for South River Fire Department, 42 appoint 2022 School Crossing Guards, 43 appoint Special Law Enforcement Officers Class 1, 44 appoint Special Law Enforcement Officers Class 3, 45 appoint Local Emergency Planning Committee, 46 appoint Recycling Coordinator, 47 appoint South River Free Public Library Board of Trustee Members, 48 appoint Energy Access Automated System Support, 49 appoint Information Technology Services, 50 appoint Members to Economic Development Commission, 51 appoint Pen Precision <laughs> Sorry, Precision Analytical Services, 52 appoint Agro-Environmental and Laboratory Services, 53 appoint Environmental Shade Tree Commission members, 54 appoint Advisory Board on Aging members, 55 appoint Advisory Board on Persons with Disability members, 56 appoint Advisory Committee for Community Block Grant Development, 57 appoint members to Parks and Recreation Advisory Board, 58, appoint cable television advisory board member. 59, authorized carryover or buyback unused vacation time. 60, authorized sale of ambulance. 61, authorized January 10th utility refunds. 62, authorized surplus ambulance equipment sales schedule A. 63, authorized surplus ambulance equipment sales schedule B. 64, authorized surplus ambulance equipment sales schedule C. 65, authorized the bills and claims list. And 66, authorized February 2022 tax payment to the South River Board of Education. May I have a motion? For that. Motion. <laughs> motion. Second. Motion has been made by Mr. Gindy, seconded by Mr. Seola. Remember that Resolution 30 is remaining in that we will have uh, appointing Mr. Gindy as the council liaison to the planning board. Okay, having that, roll call. Oh, Mr. Mayor, I'm sorry. Yes. Resolution 28, the um, commission members, well, the human relation commission members. Right. She still had me down, and I believe you gave that to Councilwoman Pallet. Yes, that's correct. Oh, my mistake. I apologize. Amend uh, Resolution 28 as Councilwoman Ballas as the liaison. Accepted by the uh, movement and seconded. Second. Yep. And you agree, Mr. Gindy? Yes, I do. Okay. okay. Over these roll things, call, roll call. Councilwoman Dallas? Uh, yes, but I'm standing from 2022-42. 20, Thank you. Councilman Gindy? Yes, abstaining from uh, 41. Councilman Gruchinski? Yes. Councilwoman Mira? Yes. Councilman Oliveira? Yes. And Council President Ciola? Yes, with abstaining from 41. Thank you all. Very good, then. There's no new business, nothing's being read separate. So that brings us to our governing body comments. Uh, I'll go in the same order I did before. Uh, Mr. Gruchinski. Thank you, Mayor. With the uh, cold weather upon us, <clears throat> excuse me, with the cold weather upon us, please take care of everyone out there too. Watch your walkways and what have you too for ice or any other buildup. So anyone walking, and we have quite a few residents that do walk for exercise. Um, also, your hydrants, please keep them clear so our first responders can get by and uh, use it if necessary, hopefully not. And uh, also with the coming of the new year and everything, please check your smoke alarm batteries and also your CO2. Um, with that, I thank you, Mary, and have a pleasant evening. Stay warm, folks. Take care. Thank you. Mrs. Ballas? Um, just a couple of things. I'd like to thank the DPW for their job on the snow removal the other day. Um, it seemed I drove around after that and, and, and the roads look really good. The other thing, um, seeing that I live up by the school, there are many curb your dog signs and I'm noticing people are not observing them. Um, I've seen the children step in, but they really don't want to step in before they go into the school. So I would urge people, please, please adhere to those because it's just, it's just a safety measure. And, and that's all I have. Thank you. 
Mr. Stiola. Thank you, Mayor. Um, the only thing I want to say is I want to thank Age and his guys for a great job they did with the snow removal. Um, I drove around afterwards, it cleared up, um, curb to curb. Um, blacktop was showing. They did a fantastic job. So again, Age, please extend my thanks to all the guys who were out plowing. That's it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Gindy. Thank you. Um, once again, Age, uh, I had the opportunity to actually go out with him. We did point out a lot of areas where there's a lot of ice buildup. Uh, Julie, I know you built, uh, brought up the uh, Prentice Avenue. There's so, so many more other places that Age will be taking care of it with uh, the salters. I know that he's uh, concerned about the ice buildup and there's, you know, it's been going on for years. Age, great job on the snow removal once again. I know we got another supposedly storm coming up this year, this week. Um, we are, I am working on bringing back testing uh, to uh, the residents. I know COVID is spiked in a very bad way uh, along with testing. So uh, look forward to seeing it on the website. I will be uh, bringing it back. Um, this week is National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. When you see a police officer or anybody that happens to be law enforcement, thank them. Um, it means a lot to them. It's a job that is not easy to do. And this brings me back, brings me to a South River resident that unfortunately lost his life one year ago, which was the Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. Um, you know, cowards took his life. That's that's the best way to look at it. And unfortunately, um, we lose sight of their job and how important it is to us and what it means for us when we have a problem. Who do you call? You call a police officer. So remember, remember him and thank a law, law enforcement whenever you see him. And last, Happy New Year. Stay safe. That's all I got. Thank you. Mr. Oliveira. Uh, as everyone mentioned, I just want to thank Adriano and the DPW for a job well done during the snowstorm. I know the last couple of meetings I mentioned uh, the need for volunteers. I believe the REC advisory board member, uh, the board right now, we're short three positions. If anyone is interested in getting involved, please let myself or any council or the mayor know. This way uh, we could fill uh, volunteer spots that are available on the board. And with that, Mayor, that, that's all I have. Hey, thank you. And Councilwoman Mara. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'd like to start off by giving my condolences to the Framheim family. Uh, Beth Framheim passed away um, last month. She was a retired teacher here at South River and also uh, devoted many hours uh, to lead the community garden that we have here in town. We'll be very missed. Um, so my condolences to her family and um, just another reminder with the community garden. It's the beginning of the year, so please look out. They will start uh, sending reminders of when they will restart um, and just getting everybody prepared for the springtime. Um, in past, we've also done um, sort of a group meetings at the library. I don't know if that'll be happening this year, but just to keep a look at on Facebook for the South River Community Garden. Um, one year, January 6th, we do also remember our officer Sicknick, um, who was from South River. And I just wanna say thank you to all the South River students for inspiring others to never forget uh, one of our own here from South River. As we know here on council, uh, a lot of the National Honor Society members decided to do park cleanups or a garden memorial right here in our park. So just thank you again for them reminding us um, how to live or relive for our, um, our residents here. Uh, and I would hope that maybe next year, Mr. Mayor, we can request or maybe on January 6th, lower our flag just to once again, remember and um, no, remind our residents about um, How come? of sickness. Other than that, I would also like to say that TV 35, I know now we're on Zoom, but Sally is recording these uh, meetings for TV 35. If you cannot find TV 35 on our website, sometimes it's hard to get our meetings down. 
we do have a YouTube uh, channel for our meetings. So if you look up uh, South River TV 35 on YouTube, you will find uh, all of our meetings there. Uh, I'm excited to get started this year with the committees and commissions that you gave me, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'm, I'm actually a little glad that we're gonna go back to Zoom, especially with our committees and stuff. It is getting cold. And that with everything happening, I think it's a good idea for now. So thank you for doing that. Um, you know, I showed up at the ordinance by title only for um, ordinance 2022-2. Uh, I just wanna say again, we're bringing this up. Uh, we saw back in December how many residents were not for this ordinance, um, how it would affect a big part of the community here in South River and the way our youth programs work. Um, I also have been reaching out, um, going back to the minutes from the uh, rec department and the uh, parks and rec meetings from 2017, we had a report done on all of our parks from a company uh, just to get an estimate on some of the, the work that needed to be done on our fields, on our soccer fields, on our baseball fields. Um, and it was, a, it was quite a bit of money that needed to be done. And I'm curious to, you know, later find out how much of that work was actually done. I know it was a proposal from a different company, but it was still stuff that they saw that our parks needed for improvement. And I'm bringing this up now, Mayor, because if we haven't done any of the improvement from five years ago, how are we gonna charge people for using our fields? Um, so please take that into consideration. I would say uh, reach out to see what of these items have been done. I have the report, I got the report from Mr. Londensky today. Uh, I'm looking over at it and I'm just curious to know what we have done from that report. Um, and how can we sit here and want to charge for our fields if we haven't improved them enough to be usable in that way. So uh, that's all I have, but I know we'll, we'll be discussing it further at our next meeting. Thank you, Mr. Mark. Thank you. And so we shall. Um, I would just like to say thank you to all of the people who, during the snowstorm, took their cars off the road. By doing that, you made it so much easier to clean and they could do a better job. Even if you're not on a snow emergency street, I know around me, that's what the people did. They took them and they shoved their cars onto their driveways and lawns and whatever, and they were able to do a very good job and then they put the cars back on the road. So it worked out well. We are going to go now to um, into executive session. And I believe that, I don't know, uh, Julie Mara, do you want to still talk about, I didn't respond to you, but do you still want to talk about uh, personnel or are you satisfied with the answer I gave you? I'm satisfied. Okay, then, then there'll just be one thing to uh, discuss and we are going to go into executive session. Uh, we will come out, there will be no business taken afterwards. So the meeting is essentially done, but we will come back to this meeting and we will then uh, close it out. So going into executive session, Madam Clerk, read the resolution. Resolution 2022-67, authorizing entrance into executive session. May I have a motion? Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Gindy, seconded by Mrs. Ballas? Yeah. Okay. Roll call. Councilwoman Ballas? Yes. Councilman Gindy? Yes. Councilman Gurchinski? Yes. Councilwoman Mira? Yes. Councilman Oliveira? Yes. And Council President Ciola? Yes. Okay. We share I would like to mention also, yeah. also I have to shut down the meeting so we can go into exec, but we will come back. Okay. Second. Second. 
Motion by Mr. Siula, seconded by Mr. Gerchensky. All in favor? Aye. 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 Hence the ayes have it. Is there anything else to come before us? Nope. Our next meeting will be in Zoom also. I have a motion to adjourn. Motion. Motion, motion by Mrs. Ballas, seconded by Mr. Siula. All in favor? Aye. 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 All against? The ayes have it. We stand adjourned for two weeks. Thank you, folks. Good night, all. Good night, all. Stay Take care. Good night. Good night.